Now that we've looked at placement of the radar and the optimal area to hit from, let's go ahead and get started by turning on the radar. Once the top green light on the radar is solid, go down into your taskbar and make sure that your radar is connected via the Wi-Fi. If this is the first time that you've connected your radar, you're going to see your serial number listed here instead of Justin's radar, and you may need to manually connect to it. The default password the first time is simply password in all lowercase. Next, start up the TPS software. Once the software is finished loading, we can go into shot analysis and the TrackMan camera is going to take a picture of our range. Now you can see in the picture that the golf ball that's placed at about 9 to 10 feet is within the blue area. This is just a good indicator, but it's better just to go ahead and use the distances that we talked about. Next we need to align the radar to our target. So all that we need to do is take the mouse, find our target, which we're going to use as this tower, and click on the tower. Now we can see a yellow line running vertically through the tower, and then this is now our target line. So now that we've selected our target line, I just want to mention one more thing. TrackMan's target line is always going to be from where the ball starts to the target that we selected within the software. So the fact that the radar is not directly on the target line does not matter because it's always going to be from where the ball starts to the target that we selected. That means that each time you hit a shot, the software will readjust your target line from where the ball starts to the target that was selected. 